All right, so I got my Dell Strong 8 quart Avalon series copper core stock pot in today, and I wanted to just go over it with you. There's the lid, got a nice little breather hole in it. So, this is supposed to be a full cladded 5 core or 5 ply copper core, and I know you can't see it, but I can see the copper in there and I'm just kind of show it to you this is kind of cool they gave you this I'm not doing an unboxing there's already an unboxing video that's cool they give you the little pan protectors for that that's really nice look at that thing though that's awesome that thing looks awesome this is a 600 degree works on gas electric induction oven freezer wherever you feel like putting it it'll work it's thick it's heavy it's a nice pot um i want this route because i am an all clad fanboy as you see here i got my all clad copper core that's the reason i have that here i want to talk to you about the differences in the copper cores between all clad and dell strong but the price point man for what they're giving you Man, you just you can't beat it. <laughs> I mean, I'm giving you a lot of uh, cookware here for the price. All comes in a nice silk bag. I mean, not that you're ever going to use that again, but it's all about the experience. Look at that thing. That is amazing looking. It's so beautiful. Um, but I will say, with the copper, copper core, it is definitely, I don't know if you're going to see it, it's thick. You can almost see the copper in this one, just in the video. All clad is much thicker um, than Dell Strong. But with that being said, I mean, it's still it's still a fair gauge. It's still a fair gauge of copper. You just, the camera, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. Um, just definitely not as thick as the all clad. But the price, this was like 195 bucks shipped to me. All clad's copper core is like $560. So... I mean, their tri-ply is 360 bucks for the 8-quart, and that doesn't have a copper core. Still, don't get me wrong, tri-ply, it's an amazing pan. Um, but yeah, you could definitely see, you could definitely even see the copper in this one by my finger right there. Look how much thicker that is. So, just keep that in mind. It's probably a lot more, or a lot more, like, there's my English. That's probably a reason why the all clad is a lot more price. You know, if it has a thicker gauge of copper. Um, but this does have it, so they can claim full copper clad. Um, and for the price, man, less than 200 bucks, this is this is awesome. You know, that is an awesome pot for 200 bucks. So, I had to skip the all clad this time, go Dow Strong. I do have their paring knife, and I've bought... My family, some of their like uh, Gladiator Series chef's knives. Um, yeah, you can see I have all clad utensils, all clad, all clad. Like I love my all clad. <laughs> There's Malvial, a Malvial in there. But I say, man, this keeps up with these guys. These, this, they're keeping up with the big boys, man. And for quite a bit cheaper um it is 1810 stainless steel 1810 stainless steel now keep in mind this is made in the united states in pittsburgh home of steel this is made in china so that could be a deal breaker another thing is too if you go with the pot with the pans the pans don't have holes in the handles if you're one that wants to hang them up that, that'd be a deal breaker for me I'm personally not going to go with the Dell Strong pans because, you know, I've got my all clad and Mobule and i got seasoning in here. i got a, a Debayer, Debayer carbon steel in there, seasoning it up. So, and I've got Viking. Viking's really good too for their price. Definitely can't knock, knock the Viking. This is my last one to get rid of. This is a Calflon. So, I'm probably going to replace this with the all-clad 
copper core, two quart, um, just because I really want it. Or maybe like a Malveal, um solid copper, because that's probably the only one I can afford, because it's the two quart. So yeah, I'll find like an all copper one. I don't know. Just slowly upgrading my cookware. One piece at a time. But back to the Dow Strong. She is absolutely one good looking pot. And there are definitely like substantial, like it's got some weight to it. Like it's a it's a well made. So I'll have to say, man, it's a thumbs up. If you're in the market, check them out. Definitely check them out. So Alright y'all, well you have a good one.